This is the Podcraft Beer Show, episode 30, for Monday, February 8th, 2021. Today we examine an IPA, a hazy IPA, an imperial stout, and a light beer. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. We got your other host, Charlie. Yes, sir. We got tech guy, Steve. Hello. Hey, today, we're going to uh, make a little run around and, and, and try four different beers here, Charlie. Yes, got sir. Four First up, beers. Four beers. Who wants to bet we get the five? <laughs> At some point, we will. We're just working up to it. If we can get a six-pack, I'm happy. Yeesh. So the uh, the first beer, Charlie. Uh, this is Charlie's pick of beers this week. He uh, he came out with the uh, with the main beer company uh, lunch IPA. Uh, we'll follow that uh, with with three other choices. But what do you got there, Charlie? A little main lunch. And let me tell you about this beer here. It cost me three hundred and fifty dollars for lunch one day. What happened there? Because they had it on tap at. Uh, uh, Got it. Um, bottle craft, and I went in there. Well, I parked outside on the street, and I didn't realize that they had a street fair or street farmers market thing going on, and they had all the streets were going to get closed off in that area. And I parked on that street that they close off, and they had signage up, but there was a big van already parked in front of the signage, so I couldn't see it. And I walked away, and I come back, and I see my car being towed away on a back of a flatbed tow truck i'm like oh man that ain't good <laughs> so you could have you could have flown to the brewery and yeah. back and got a beer for that so yeah. the uh so main um uh, or lunch is uh main brewing company's um east coast version of a west coast uh style ipa they say um intense hop flavors aromas of tropical and citrus fr- citrus fruits and pine dominant this used to be one of my absolute favorites i mean Hence the three hundred and fifty dollar lunch. Lunch. Yeah, they used to uh, when when they would have it on uh, bottle. Bottlecraft would uh, would put it on tap occasionally. Yeah, it's 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 even better on tap, I think. But pretty legit stuff. That's really good. Yeah, it's all right. Little um, it's kind of little malty sweetness in there. I yeah, think the, they have uh, a several different. <clears throat> excuse me. They have several different. Um, uh, names of this similar, I, I think they just use different hops in it, and it's like lunch, dinner, breakfast, and um, they had a whole batch of three. I think they might even have one called dessert. I don't know. I can't remember that far back, but I remember when they originally had this out, and it was fantastic, and so were the other ones. So, I mean, they were all very good. Yeah, that um, I was never, I, I was never able to get dinner. Dinner was kind of, you know, super difficult to get. Certainly here on the on the West Coast, but the uh, um, yeah, double IPA was. Um, I don't, I, I don't think I ever saw it here locally. I know I put in a couple of times for, um, well, thinking you know, like, you know, I always thought about a, a, a trip to Maine, like it would be phenomenal. Speaking of trips, I've been uh, contemplating taking a little ride to Colorado. To hit up Outer Range and Casey. There you go. Because I missed that on the way back from my last trip. That's where I was planning on going. But the weather was not good in Colorado at the time. What uh, what are you, you going to go up there for? Uh, whatever Casey's got available and whatever Outer Range has available. Just hazies from Outer Range, definitely. And then Casey, anything they got fruited that's legit i'm getting so i mean they usually have quite a few bottles available so hopefully i'll have some they have they had something on their instagram the other day that was like uh raspberry something or other that was looked really delicious so i'm interested there it is there you go so this is a this is a goodie we get all thumbs up on this one for sure yeah no it's it's uh yeah i i enjoy it you know the um, uh, I'm a fan of the West Coast uh, IPA. I like the naming convention. Yeah, lunch yeah, dinner. Yeah, just having a little lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Where's <laughs> yeah. my Where's my snacks? Yeah. Yeah. yeah the um, 
Man, I've been drink, I, I've been drinking a lot of like West Coast pale ales, you know, so a hoppy pale ale. Mm-hmm. Man, that might be my favorite beer style right now. You know that and um, um, you know, Stout. hitting on some pilsners and oh man, the, when we're at Def, gosh, everything they have is fantastic. I mean, it's just so fresh and clean. I don't know. I just love that that brewery. We're gonna have to pop some more of their cans because I've got quite a few of their crowlers sitting in the fridge. Yeah, so um, you know, speaking of any beers that you had this week, Charlie, any uh, anything anything good? You, you mentioned Deft. Is that the? Oh yeah, I had some Deft. I had Deft. I'll I'll switch back here and uh, take a look. See. How about you, Steve? I had something super um, accessible. So Kirkland Signature Citra Citra Hop Session IPA. They're selling that now at Costco, and I I believe it's brewed by um, Gordon Beers. Oh, is it? Yeah. What's it called? Kirkland Citra Hop Session IPA. Oh, it's the Kirkland from uh, Costco. Yeah. Yeah, cool. It was pretty good though, right? Yeah, it was. The, it's called Hoffen und Malz. Malz is the name of the brewery, but if you look up the address, it's the same address. As <laughs> pretty fun. Oh, so it's, yeah, it's, it's, they're probably contract brewing? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. Well, they did that before. All the Kirkland beers in that, they used to have like a four pack or whatever. Yeah. It was mm-hmm. the same group, so. They were all, it was that same address or whatever, yeah, the same yeah. Gordon Beers. Yeah. Is that the Gordon Beers in like San Jose? Is yeah, that where that's they, where the that's original production one was at, or? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I've, um, I ate, ate at that one one time. Oh, their food is always fantastic. Yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah. Is that it for you? Just I'm going one for Kirkland. one. One Kirkland, great job for supporting our local breweries. Uh, no, I had the Bird Party uh, from North Park. Uh, original 40, I had their uh, Pilsner. I think it's called uh, Schlock Purist. Then um, I had uh, uh, Here Comes Mango from Belching Beaver. Uh, Celestial Illusion Illusions from Pure Project. And then uh, Big Quad Mother of, uh, no, maybe not, Quad Mother of uh, Sawyer, Strawberry Banana Dolce. De Leche from The Answer. That was pretty legit, let me tell you that. What was your favorite beer this week, Charlie? Oh, and I also had uh, Creative Creature, their Nitro Pastry Stout. What was that? We have an interference there? A little? No, I I was looking at my pictures of beers and I pushed my on the favorite? video. My <laughs> favorite? Ah, gosh, let me see here. I really like, I really, really like that... Uh, the North Park and the Pilsner, but you know what? You cannot go wrong with the answer. I'd have to say the answer was the best one. Yeah. It's- oh, sorry. I also drank some other stuff. I just found it. I had the uh, Deft English Porter, and uh, it's called the it's called Donna the Deft. And then uh, I had another one of those uh, Mango Mint. Uh, Mama Mentality, uh, the legendary one from Attitude, uh, the Kobe Bryant hazy. It was awesome. But that was it. So um, last Sunday I went to uh, Green Cheek and Deaf, me and Charlie did. Um, we had to had to run up and, and, and grab something in Orange County. Um, man, that Green Cheek, like sitting outside. So it was the first time I had been at a brewery in a very long time. So to sit outside in the sun... Have a uh, um, have a burger. They had some uh, some smash burger uh, stand going on, and then um, be able to drink a couple of a uh, couple of beers oh, uh, yeah. was phenomenal. I had this um, by all counts, which was uh, was their IPA. Man, it was it was it was great. It was nice and sunny. I had a great burger. It was beautiful. What well, we had another one that was. Uh I we, heard they just added more hops to it or something. It was a really long name. I don't know. I had um, I, I just had I had two beers there. I had a strictly speaking, which was like that that uh, pale ale, that English pale ale they made with um, with Track Seven, I think. Oh, there was uh, another one. It was not just, Track Seven. Um, it was um, something, something like I heard they had. I heard they added more hops to it or something like that. That was it's pretty good. It was a hazy. Pretty much all theirs are hazy, right? No, that uh, that that one that I had was just a uh, um, 
it, it was just an IPA. Well, I had that little taste, not taster, but a little uh, glass of uh, Gesture King, too. What was that? Yeah, I, I forget. The Grisette. I think it was yeah, the Grisette. That was pretty legit. <laughs> yeah, they... Um, yeah, so that was uh, that was a nice little nice little stop, but yeah, that that West Coast IPA was was phenomenal. Those guys make unbelievable West Coast IPAs. Evan and team. What about those pizzas we had at Deft? Pretty daggone good too, huh? That's what you need to check out: pizza and beer at Deft Brewing. Or uh, Steve, it sounds like a plan. Yeah, it's right down there off Marina Boulevard on Banks. I think it is. Is it Bank Street? I, uh, I'm of that age that I just put it in my GPS. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and let that navigate me there. Yeah. I have to know the names what of do everything. We, what do we got next? Oh, yeah. Let me get into another beer. <laughs> We're just rambling on. Hey, what about that pizza? <laughs> We're going with uh, Cloud Universe. It's a double dry hopped hazy IPA. 7.2% alcohol from North Park Brewing. One of my favorite breweries right now. And this beer and the main... Brewing company beer lunch, you can get. So, so, so Cloud up. Universe is a uh, a hazy IPA with uh, with citra and Cascade hops. Smells uh, good. Smells really good. So, anyways, we're uh, we're big fans of North Park right now. They Pretty make great. There. They make great beers. Everything they're putting out is really good. So yeah, Citra, Cascade, uh, New Zealand grown uh, Simcoe and Co- uh, Kohatu. Um, uh, it says we're going to taste of strawberries, blueberries, um, large amounts of uh, oats in there to give it that creamy uh, mouthfeel. Wow, that's really good. Really good. I'm liking that one. Put that on the list of goods. Definitely have that, uh, that Citra, uh, that Citra smell there. It's got a melony smell, doesn't it? I smell melon. That's really good. I mean, that's phenomenal. It has a straight uh, up, just a great mouthfeel. You know that oats in a uh, um, an IPA is great. It's super, um, super well balanced. Really, it knocks off the bitterness for sure. So that's a big plus for me. But yeah, it's uh, it's good, and you can get both these. I think you can get the next two also. So great news. They're available. Everybody go out and get them. <laughs> yeah, that North Park is 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 phenomenal. They're, they um they've been in a lot of a lot of beer stores locally. You know, we we had mentioned previously how they didn't start this year uh, planning a whole lot of cans and just um it was more of an on site consumption. They have a beautiful spot down there in North Park. Yeah, good looking can too. Yeah, love it. Good looking can. I mean, that's the thing. If you're putting cans together. And you got a great label on it and a good beer inside. No, you can't go wrong. I mean, it's just. I mean, you got to make great beer regardless. But some of these people are just going above and beyond with their can art and stuff. It's super cool. But yeah, I'm a drinker of that one. That's for sure. Hey, you know what beer I'm looking forward to coming out? Like, uh, um, you know, speaking of great, great cans, and um, so uh, Bernie Beard has that beer that uh, um, that they're coming out with. Um, with Sean from, uh, um, this is a McKelly or is that, is that the last name? Yeah. From, from old Alpine. Yes. Yeah. So they made a West coast IPA that's coming out in cans. It's been on the new, is it the new traditionalists? I believe. Um, is that what it's called? That sounds good to me. I like when they say traditional. Yeah. I think, I believe that's the, uh, different than what's out there right now. You know, I just hope it, it gets back to that that whole um, that Alpine, like when they were just making West Coast mm-hmm. IPAs, yeah. just phenomenal, pure hoppiness, exponential hoppiness, Nelson duet, all those. I had a duet the other day. What am I saying? Where did I get? Where did I get that at? Where did you get that at? Oh, it was I was golfing. It was on tap. Wow! So I was quite pleased with it. It's pretty good. Yeah, their beers are always great. Yeah, but I, got I, they, for sure. I always had one of the, those problems back in the old days where you had to you had to have their growler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Always, right. That yeah, always yeah, sucked. And they, yeah, I mean, <laughs> gosh, like how many, so many? Like I had so many growlers at one yeah. point. Yeah, we, you know, we were at Deft last week, and they'll give you if you have a 
plain brown growler that you'll turn in. I think was it was it a dollar a piece? Up to like you can turn in five of them and they'll give you five dollars off uh like huh. a growler. Oh yeah. So you can go in with a you know with a growler like a plain because I I can't remember the last time I've I got a growler fill. Mm. But I don't know if I how many I have that are just plain. Then you you gave yours away. Yeah, there, I did. You? Yeah, crawlers are the only way to go, man. That is. Yeah, that's the only. Way we to couldn't go. fit them in the kitchen. It was like taking up. Yeah, this room. It's like. And I think I dumped off a pile of them somewhere, some recycle center. Because I mean, who who goes? I mean, you got to drink that. At, you know, either that day or night or the next day, or else it's gone. You know, yeah, it's, gonna be it's going great to when you're having a party and people are over yeah. for a while. But it's that hasn't been happening lately. But I mean, honestly, I'd rather have. Four crawlers than one growler, or two crawlers than one growler. I mean, it's just the way it is. You can pop one, leave the other one on ice, you know, drink it halfway down, and pop the other one, and still finish them both. But that crawler thing, it was a good it's idea. Way to go, thirty-two. Uh, the crawler, thirty-two ounce, yeah. right? But you know, the growlers when you got sixty-four ounces. Yeah. Like I'm the only person in my house that drinks beer. Yeah, I'm like mess How around and end up with a double IPA from Alpine on a <laughs> yeah, Saturday yeah. night. <laughs> Exponential hoppiness aye, aye, with aye, a, growl, a growler of that. Good yeah, night. I think I got a, I got a, um, a gr- I think the last growler I ever filled was uh, was a growler of Bad Boy, mm-hmm. which was like double IPA yeah. from or that pure from last week. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the yeah, that yeah, that Quinn, <laughs> the Quinn, fifteen yeah. percent. You get Yikes. something like that. Yeah. Well, he was he. I, I mean. I'll tell the story where uh, a buddy of mine that uh, actually uh, was one of the owners of uh, Green Flash at the time. This is when uh, Alpine just popped off and uh, Green Flash had already been up and running and they had their West Coast IPA and that thing was like the beer to drink at the time. And I think I drank like 10 kegs of that or something, or at least had that many on tap. But uh, ended up, uh, I asked him, I said, what do you think of this guy up in Alpine? He goes, oh. That guy's a rock star, and he doesn't even know it, you know? And uh, he was, I mean, just pumping out pure hoppiness, and then, boom, right after that, exponential hoppiness. And uh, I actually talked to him one time up there. I mean, this is when you could walk right in there into that little booth Mm -hmm. of a brewery, you know? And I'm standing in there, and I'm like, "Uh, what's what's the, the difference between IBUs and, you know, pure hoppiness and exponential hoppiness? And he's all like, you'd be shocked at how little it is, you know? And I'm like, really? You know, because everybody's saying, oh, if there's over 100 IBUs in there, you can't even taste them after that, you know? And he's all, no, it's not even near 100. So <laughs> I said, well, that's good news, you know? Gosh, they were phenomenal beers. I, I definitely waited a few Absolutely. times in, in line at that brewery for uh, uh, for bottle releases. or Yeah, um, been up there. I think everybody's had their little story about Alpine mm-hmm. Brewing that they... Uh, I mean, you'd go in there and they'd sit there and talk to you for 45 minutes if you wanted about beer, you know? It was really cool when they're, the, the pub now, mm-hmm. or it's the um, where, where you would get the beer now, mm-hmm. next to the old brewery used to be the restaurant. Yeah, the restaurant, yeah. yeah. Which was awesome. Like, their chicken wings were so good. Yeah. Go out there, get some Nelson. Yeah. I actually wings. never ate there. Oh, really? Oh, huh. Yeah. You missed out. I yeah. just drank all their beer. Spent my money on beer, not food. Pure essentials. That's me. Yeah, well, I sat there and drank beer and ate chicken wings <laughs> it was phenomenal <laughs> likely story all right we're on to number three what do you got there we're, we're special invitation only here just kidding this one's available too folks it can be had what do you got there charlie Ooh, that is a good smelling beer this is deafening silence it's a 13% alcohol by volume, brewed and bottled by Moonraker. And it has, it's an imperial stout aged in bourbon barrels for 12 months with, get it, cacao nibs and vanilla beans and orange zest. Ooh, Doesn't orange that sound zest. interesting? We haven't yeah. had any. You can orange smell zest, the orange zest. Yeah, we like haven't that. in, um, uh, yeah, certainly not in a stout, right? Um, so this was uh, this was a bottle that uh, that Ryan, our friend in Sacramento, had uh, had given Ooh, us. We you can smell we ran up there. to grab uh, grab some beers from him. It smells delicious. And, and this was one of them. Man, that orange zest is jumping out on that nose. 
Thirteen percent. It doesn't smell thirteen. It doesn't smell real barely. It 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 smells like uh, like a chocolate covered orange or yeah, something, doesn't it? Like you get a lot of like a like a bourbony fudge <laughs> and orange. Yeah. yeah, my mom liked those orange chocolate. What That's what I was thinking, like a like a uh, like a, like a Seas candy or yeah. something, you what know? They, like what do they call it, Rocher or Roquet or? I think that's got more nuts in it, but they're like German candies with oh, like, okay. uh, different flavors inside, like cherry and strawberry. Ah, and there's a Christmas one that has orange and mm. chocolate. I can't remember what it is. That's amazing. That's that's a really good. Did you taste uh, it? Yeah. So the getting? um. So I mean, I I smell it. You know, and I'm kind of uh, I'm you know a little fearful of of saying orange or orange zest in my. I've I have a really bad you know like. Uh, Orange zest, uh, more, more specifically, marmalade is kind of a trigger for me. Yeah, you know? super mild though for the. No, taste. it is. It's yeah, so that's it's legit. I like it. Oh man, the smell is just super dangerous, but the taste is super mild. I thought it was going to be a uh, much richer and sweeter, and it's not. It's just mellow. Yeah, when you take it, when you take a smell of it, you, I mean, it's just orange all over. So you're, I'm expecting like a, like an orange dreamsicle or something. But it do, it certainly tastes like you get a lot of orange, right? But uh, orange, not not a whole lot of barrel, but the uh, um, but certainly chocolatey. I think absolutely. I'm I'm a I've never tasted a stout from Moonraker. Have you? I have. Yeah. I. Uh, this is a pretty good level though for them. No, I it's think. phenomenal. It's a super that that thing's phenomenal. So if we list all the beers on the website that we've had, do we do it in brewery order or do we do it in beer name order or yeah. style? Yeah, I think you got to do like brewery. Just let and it then, go. I mean, why would you just do it? Well, I think yeah, it'd be great. Like we should we should you know we should link it to like a Excel document that you can uh, that you can search. Like oh yeah, you can just open it up and do it any way you want to do it. Right, right, right. Yeah, you can sort and. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, like you just have buttons, right. right? Like we need an intern. You'd have to put a. We red, do need an intern. You'd have to put a red check by all the ones you can't get anymore. Available or not? The color of the font. But guess yeah. what, folks? These are all available. Every single one of them. Would you put a little whale, a little icon? Like, yeah. yeah. Little, What's the icon for? It's available. <laughs> right. <laughs> a little whale with uh, with a harpoon in it means unavailable. Speaking uh, of whales, we originally. Um, we had planned on uh, making this episode uh, Stout Fest 2.0, and it, it just didn't come together. I think not we yet. Uh, not, not yet, not not for today. But we uh, uh, we're going to do a bunch of single barrel um, uh, er, stouts that are aged in a single barrel. Is kind of our, our mm. intention. We got a uh, we got a Moxa contestant. We have a uh, um, I have two Moxas actually. I think there's one of them is a single Isn't barrel. Isn't the though. Wellers? The Weller is, yeah. Okay. What about the Joyous Almonds? No, that's not a single. No, that's, well, that's adjunct. Oh, that's okay. an adjunct. Stout. So no adjunct. No Sorry. adjuncts, just straight stouts that aged in just a barrel that's just one barrel, not 15. Well, I mean, I guess they will be just one style of barrel, right? Okay. So it'll be like, like there's a Weller there. And then um, uh, what else do we have? I have a couple other ones from, from uh, Horace and Southern Grist. And then... Uh, We'll find one other one to drop in there. Interesting. At uh, Modern Times, I think. So you can buy this one up there at Moonraker, or is it being distributed around? I think you can get that at, at Bottlecraft uh, here locally. I know they um, Bottlecraft uh, gets gets a quite a bit mm-hmm. of Moonraker. Um, it's definitely a drinker. I mean, it's like a Christmas drinker. You know, it's not. It's a five hundred mil bottle, and it's uh, it's not huge. Yeah, no, that's it's super tasty. That came from the brewery, but it's something they release, I think, on uh, um, relatively frequently. Wow, that orange on the tongue after mm-hmm. you—it's really, really yeah, it's yeah. unique. It's huh? really, really amazing. You don't get that often, and not done well. You know, done well. Like you yeah. know, it smells like when you there. Like, there's a lot of orange on there. You know, so so I was whoever like, was in it. on this, whoever the brewer was, was lights out good. That's just. I mean, I can't imagine how hard that was to do. Yeah, no, that's a. Um, I mean, you get the. Yeah, it's that's a good beer. Big fan of stouts. We do stouts, and we do them well. I gotta rinse a little. Delish. You ready for number four? What do you got for number four? Oh, I got something real special. <laughs> Actually. 
It's our first light beer from Society. And it's uh, it comes in a 12-ounce can. You can get it at Society, and it is uh, 4.5% alcohol by volume. So it's like a... It's like a light drinker, you know, easy drinker. If you want a beer and it's good beer, craft beer, this is it. So we're going to be uh, Beer Folk Unite, it says on it. But uh, this is uh, something that uh, society's putting out because, you know, they're canning just about everything they have now. So that's a great news for people. Yeah, no, there, there's another brewery that started out the year, I think, not... Um not canning right mm-hmm. like it was all like on site or on on tap handles like mm-hmm. they uh um always been one of my favorite uh um my favorite local breweries i think when you know they they started right around the same time modern times did um modern times really put you know like you can see they they went cans uh and, Ooh, and way early right yeah and then um multiple different avenues of of distribution right whereas society just recently uh, within the last year, you've seen more and more of their cans and and um, super fresh and clean smelling. I'm a big fan of Society, anyways. I love their uh, what is it? Good of the people and their uh, their pupil, which is always outstanding. And uh, I'm a big fan of the Bachelor. That's their single hop. Yeah, right there. And then uh, now this. I mean, I bought a six pack of it, so little lawn you got a you got some lawn mowing you need no, to get done i'm just gonna do some lounging is you know put on some comfy couch pants and watch golf you know <laughs> sit out here in the backyard <laughs> no there's certainly something to be said about like um getting a beer uh like uh you know four and a half percent right like yeah a, i mean it's i mean especially when you jump down from that stout there that's 13 i mean this is not a uh you don't lose anything. Oh man, that was that was unfortunate. You poured the whole thing in your glass there. Yeah. <laughs> no more for you. <laughs> That's got a no, great smell. But you could little you could just hang out and this is like everyday beer, you know? You for sure. A, you should have a six pack of this in your fridge just waiting for somebody to stop by and kill it with you. Yeah, that's really tasty. Yeah. The uh just nice crisp, like a corn flavor to it. It's nice. It's clear. It's clean. It's fresh. It's it's a light beer. It is truly not light in calories, I'm sure, but it's just nice and easy, man. Every day of the week. Yeah, no, that's Mm-mm. uh, that's tasty. I could I could I could certainly drink those. Good because I got a few more. Huh. We'll get into them. Could be a good beer for cooking with yeah for sure hanging out like a barbecue yeah no but cooking with it using bratwurst bratwurst inside of it yeah i don't know Mm. if i would waste it on that i would just Mm. get something what would you what would you uh what would you use for your bratwurst i I usually don't boil them so (laughs) just throw them on the uh yeah i just cook them man i like them cooked i mean uh, they get kind of like it it knocks down a lot of the flavor when you (sighs) um when you I'm, I'm a fan. Yeah, they got to be boiled in, in beer really? first. I think yeah. so. Never yeah. given you another well, bratwurst again. And then you can put it on the grill and get a little. That's right. So. No, I've done it. But I mean, I mean, back when I did it, they were still making low and brow. So, <laughs> yeah, quite a while ago. Yeah, Charlie, I grew up around Germans. Did you? I did. A lot of Germans. You you speck, sprechen Sie Deutsch? No, uh. very little. I actually went to Germany like with. They're not speaking any German. <laughs> uh, that's a, it's another episode. I get the word now. I here. learned she'll, very she'll little. She'll cuss you out in German. <laughs> the, um, yeah, no, I, uh, I'm a fan of the old, uh, the old bratwurst in a beer. But yeah, I could certainly see that. No, this is good brat and beer. I mean, I don't know if I would put it, boil anything with it, but uh, it's because I'd rather drink it than boil. Because you kind of waste that. You know, you don't get to drink that afterwards. Who doesn't? Well, <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna use it. I'm like a I'm like a pirate over just here. Just give me a straw. <laughs> it, I'll get it done. Put it in my mug. I'm drinking it. <laughs> wow, <laughs> you know, there's, a, there's a weird frothy on top of that too. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a meal and a drink all in oh one. My gosh, that's dangerously ugly. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. All right, well, so so on that we um, so yeah, we had a, a beer from. Uh, from Moonraker, that main main beer company, mm. North Park, uh, you know, a couple of IPAs, two different ends of the IPAs. We have, uh, you know, like uh, main main beer company, 
Yeah. With their lunch, uh, you know, West Coast style. Uh, then we had the, the hazy IPA. I highly North suggest Park. people drink that lunch at some point. Yep. That was a good beer. I like the, I like it. The, the, um, I guess the artwork on the bottle, it's so simple. Super yeah. simple. It's so, it's but it's like the ups, it's like, but you're looking at the North Park one, which is like way other end of the spectrum. Other, yeah. Well, but, it's, you know, that, that uh, main beer company, that's like a menu almost, right. but it's very plain menu. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just here you go. So. And that Moonraker, uh, you know, with Ooh. the, with the, the orange zest orange as the, uh, zest. yeah, that was a, that was a great adjunct that I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't think, you know, you, you, you don't see a whole lot of in, uh, in stouts. It was great. And the uh, little lawnmower beer, the light beer from uh, Society to finish it off. Workout beer. Yeah, there you go. Right after. Uh, that'd be a good like hike beer if you could yeah. figure out a way to keep it cold. Cold. Yeah. You know, to the top. You have a backpack similar for that. I do, but I need to like come up with something like a that's lightweight that can keep like a, a canister that I can get to the top. Mm-hmm. You know. Wow. Cool my beer and like. All right, cold. Keep like, it cold all the way up. Right. Even if it was warm, like just, uh, yeah. Well, if you get up high enough, there's snow. You can just drop them along the way. Yeah, we and on your way back down, drink them. I have one at the top, though. Yeah, well, just take one. That's cold. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, I, I hiked. So, so Pure is always um or Pure Project. They they put you know people uh, out in the wild or whatever with their beers. You know that it's kind of their it's kind of on brand for them. So I had brought a couple of beers to the top of Mount Whitney with me um thinking that i would pop these beers and get a picture of me on the top of mount whitney drinking them and then i was so sick that first time that i was up there i was so disappointed in myself because like, i was like struggling and then i you know i carried two beers all the way up there i mean i wasn't sick enough to like dump them out or like to, you know, like, <laughs> i'll carry them down like to, yeah exactly i'll carry those down i still actually have the uh the ipa sitting in my drawer as a as a reminder next to my hiking socks Oh, Here we are, like three years later. I don't know. That's a that's a tough deal. I know it's it's altitude sickness hurts. Yep. Because I had it uh, when I went out to Colorado and I was up on that peak for what, three days before anybody showed up and I was there and I was like having to chop my own firewood and split it and oh, it was miserable. <laughs> I didn't eat anything for three days, so it was like. Well, I did have a protein bar, protein bar and water. That was it until the my buddy showed up and rescued me of my sanity. Gosh, I was going nuts. There was nobody there. I was just like all by myself, I, which I didn't care, you know, but I kind of like to converse a little bit, you know, with someone other than my own mind. <laughs> so I almost lost it. Anyways, another day for that story, but that was some fun. But altitude sickness is crazy. Yeah. Anyways, good Less beers. Enjoyable. Yeah, yep. for sure. Cheers, boys. There it is. Cheers. Cheers. I hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only. And compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? 
It's over. Go home. Go.